going to show you what I've quilted here in the center part of this turkey table runner. This is just a bunch of two inch squares and I've used my 612 um, circle squared ruler. So I have a new set of circle rulers and there's two different size circles in each ruler. They are in a set of six, so you get from two inches up to 13 inches and they are available on my website at quiltingit.com in my shop. This is my green set and there is a clear set that's gonna be available soon. So I've used the inside of this six inch circle to quilt out these large orange pills. So if you want a, a quick little tutorial on how to quilt out orange pills continuously, um, let's pretend like this is the edge of the quilt because I've already done the secondary design I'm gonna show you in a minute throughout the rest of it. So we're gonna pretend like this is the edge and what you would do is start here and using the ruler, you would come down and quilt there, come down all the way to the bottom. You can rotate your ruler and then you would quilt to the right and then you would come up, quilt there and then you're gonna turn and quilt these petals. And that's how I would be rotating the ruler as well. If you feel more comfortable stopping your machine as you have to rotate the ruler, definitely do it. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. But these rulers turn pretty nice. It's fun to use rulers. So when you get to the top, then you would do the same thing. You would come down here again if you wanted to keep going continuous come over and then up over over up over over up and you're going to keep going so when you get to the bottom or the end you have this whole top row that hasn't been quilted so then you need to quilt from the right to the left and that's how you do a continuous. Now, sometimes my thread will break when I quilt from the right to the left. So if that's the case, I usually cut my thread and then start from the left and work to the right and meet up with where it broke. So that's just a quick little continuous t tutorial on how to do orange pill. So what I've done is I have these big circle orange pills and there's all this open space and because this is a table runner I like to quilt them a little bit more because I know stuff is probably gonna be sitting on it you don't want something toppling over you know whatever it is so they definitely can be quilted more dense and this isn't super dense but what I've done is I've mimicked the big plus the orange pill plus that's what I'm gonna call it and I've done it little right in the side or inside the center of the orange pill circle so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to quilt out an entire center or vertical row and you could do it continuous and work your way to your right as well. You would just then need to come back and work your way with everything that wasn't quilted um, so it can meet up and be continuous. So I'm going to use the 3-9 ruler and I'm going to use the inside 3 inch circle to quilt out this and I'm actually not going to um, quilt out anything in these petals so I'm just going to keep it right in the middle of the circles So right here, I could work my way, maybe I will, work my way to my left. This is a fun way to show you how to do this, because then I'm going to come back and then go down.
and now I'm just gonna cut this bottom orange pill, just this one. And then I will quilt out these other two when I quilt out the, the bottom row next to it. So that's what you have to do. Like I finished this one because that's the furthest from the right, but I didn't do that bottom and I could have done this bottom before, but this was left unquilted and that's left unquilted. So now I'm gonna quilt this one here. And then I can come back and quilt the unfinished one. Okay, now if you notice, this isn't quilted here and neither is this. So what I need to do now is quilt down here and then I'm gonna quilt over and then come back like I did on the top and then quilt down here, quilt over, come back. And then I need to travel back up and finish all the way up there to the top and then there is my continuous design. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I definitely could have come down here and quilted that, even come over here. But if you start to like travel too much, sometimes it's hard to remember what you've quilted, what you haven't quilted, and sometimes you can miss some things that you haven't quilted because you thought, oh, you know, I can come this way. Believe me, I've done it. <laughs> Happens to all of us. So another reason why it's good to leave some of these unquilted, so when you travel back, you come and get it, because it helps prevent your thread from breaking, because if you're quilting from the right to the left, like I said before, sometimes it breaks. So it's nice to be able to change directions, kind of mix it up with the machine, and so it's less stress on the thread and if you're having a breakage problem. So leave those those bottom pills unquilted till you come back or even an upper pill just so you have some um, change in direction to help that thread. So I'm going to travel down here and finish this last row. So one thing when you're using a ruler is if you aren't used to using them, you need to make sure you are a quarter of an inch away from where you want to be because otherwise if I were to line it up right here on this point, then my needle and my hopping foot is going to be clear in here and that's where my the point of my pedal is going to be. So my whole design is going to be skewed. So you need to have that quarter of an inch out.
here I am back at my start. So this entire center section is fully quilted and now I'm going to work on the turkeys and the border and so I will definitely post a picture of what the, those look like when they're done as well. But I hope that helped kind of teach you a continuous way to do an orange pill but also a fun new secondary design. And one of the things that I love about when I'm done quilting, like I planned this, but it's fun to see this other little square orange pill design that was created too. So your imagination is what's gonna limit you in your quilting. I hope that was helpful in your quilting. And if you have any questions about my rulers or um, if you would like more tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or go to my blog. They're going to both have different tips and tricks. And thank you for watching.